Cal, congratulations. Man of the match. Two amazing goals. Mm -hmm. Both outstanding. Do you know I love you? <laughs> yeah. Come on. Thank you, Joe. Honestly, I think uh, the momentum swung, especially uh, getting that early start. Boys did really well. You were outstanding. I'm not, I mean, you're saying anything in this interview, so you just keep smiling at me. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Uh, it was good. It was good. It obviously Come on, tell us about your own performance. I think um, I just focus on the performance, trying to play well for the team, and the so goals always come off the back of that. For me, it was important that we got the first goal today, and um, I was obviously delighted to get it. And then um, we go in half-time, 1-1, one, one, disappointed. And then I think um, come out, and it's a hot day, so... You know, everyone's tired. It's about who wants it more. And we showed great desire today. Ha home fans helped us along with that as well. And I think um, getting the second goal was massive. And then there was only one team that was going to win it. I couldn't have actually addressed that better myself. Mm. Um, <laughs> I think that, um, you know, your patience and your resilience has been amazing because the start of the season, there's always an awful lot of uh, pressure brought to bear, you know, from the outside. You know, you're expected to score goals, not only for the football club, uh, but for England as well. And you've got that added pressure. And I think it only takes it takes a real quality player and person like you um, to go through a couple of games where maybe you're not hitting the heights. And then we see your real uh, sharp talent today. Yeah, um as a striker, it's just, it's just a process, Steve, and you've got to believe in it. Um, whether you're scoring, you're not scoring, you've always got to have that self-belief that you are going to score when you get an opportunity. And um, thankfully for me, you know, um, got got a first sort of clear one-on-one -on -one against Leicester. Stuck that away, breeds nice confidence, and um, come into today. Well, went into the international break confident. Um, unfortunately, didn't get a, a, any minutes. You know, um, so, so it's, it's just all about coming back to to club football and focusing on what got me there in the first place and you know just trying to stake a claim and a further a further claim to, to try and get an opportunity and um and yeah I did that today and showed the hunger levels that was required to, to get the goals and um and yeah I think uh, take that into the into the local derby next week which is a massive game and for me uh, and the team I think uh, beating a team like Everton today shows where we where we want to be and, and and how far we're going and I think uh, they'll be up there around, in and around there at the end of the season so it's important that we beat them. I think so as well. I think you know most commentators think that they're a team that can break into the top six. Mm -hmm. If that is the case, you know we've um, really put a marker down of our own performances today. And I thought one of the biggest differences was the greater of the collective. Um, with our performance as opposed to some individual performances um, from Le uh, from uh, Everton today. What are your thoughts on that? Yeah, I think um, everyone to a man today was dead on their feet when we come in. They couldn't have given much more. Um, and I think uh, that's what was required against a team like that today. We was going to have to work harder than them. So I think, um, yeah, we did that. I can obviously honestly can't walk at the minute. So uh, that's why we're sitting down doing this interview. So I think everyone feels the same. We've worked hard and just got to make sure we're recovered now and go again on Friday. Um, we've got a good run of games coming up that we've got to back ourselves in. And there was talk before the game about league position, where we are in the league and this and that. But it's still early days yet. And, and, and like we've seen today, one win shoots you up eight places. So I wouldn't look too much into that. It's just about performances and being consistent week in, week out. That's what I love about you. It's all about positivity and it's not about the soothsayers who are looking at the papers in the morning and saying you're in this you know, position you know, with four points. Um, you know, people never anticipate you know, just the resolve and that incredible uh, focus that we have. I've always said we have a siege mentality mm -hmm. at this football club that we show time and time again. Mm -hmm. When critics get on our backs, we actually show just how good we are. Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, people label us small club this and things like that. And it's just about going and talking on the pitch, really. Let other people do their external talking. And we just focus on what we can affect. And, and that's putting in performances week in, week out and playing for the shirt. And, and that's what we've all done today. And um, and like I say, it's good, uh, it's good to get three points on the board. And it breeds confidence going into a local derby. Well, I'm a very proud chairman today. I'm absolutely yeah. proud of you, proud of the boys, and also a huge thank you to our incredible supporters today. I think they really lifted the team at times. You know, there were a few parts of the game which you're always going to have when you're under pressure, mm -hmm. but I think the real collective today was uh, you, the boys, and the supporters. So congratulations. Love you to bits, and <laughs> continue scoring. Cheers, yeah, thank you. Yeah.